we hit 100 freaking K. I can't believe it. Before I say thank you or anything like that, I've got um, a quick video of when I got the 100K play button, which is back there behind me. There, I don't know if you can see it, it's right there. I have a video of me unboxing that, so I'm gonna play that and then we'll reconvene. After not uploading for three months, <laughs> YouTube said, hey, come back. In all seriousness, I've been hyped for this. Mm. We all know what it looks like, but this one's mine. This is it. He's cheating, bro. <laughs> How you get this without uploading? That made no sense. Oh. All right. What's this? They got a business card in here. Don't try to get your clout off of my video. <laughs> what? Congratulations on your subscriber milestone. We're honored to take part in recognizing your achievement. I want it to be exceptional. This award is inspected by Rick. Who is Rick? Thanks, Rick. Slick Rick? Slick Rick? Who is that? We all know what this says. I'm pretty sure. I don't Susan. know what this is. Shiny. Ooh. Oh, what does that say on that question? That said 100. Oh, oh, who's that? Me. Oh, don't, don't do that. <laughs> they never show this part in the videos. Yeah. They got the mount. They got the mount. Hang this on the wall. I always wonder how they got this flat slab on the wall. Now. But anyway, for real, thank you. This is awesome. Mm. Mm. Okay, now that you've seen that, thank you so much. I really do appreciate everybody who's clicked subscribe on this channel. I know that I like beg you to subscribe at the end of every video. Please, please, and please, and please, and please, and please, 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 and please, 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 and as always, please, please, subscribe again. And if you unsubscribe, please resubscribe. And please. Please, and please, oh yeah, and please subscribe, please. But still, thank you for actually doing it. And for those of you who click to watch this video after all of the radio silence that I give you pretty much every year. Now, speaking of the radio silence, that's kind of why I did this whole part after. I want to talk to you. I know it's probably super annoying how I will like post something and be like, I'm back, and then go away for a long period of time and then post again and be like, I'm back, and do the exact same thing over and over and over again. But what happens is I just like lose interest in editing and photography for long periods of time. <laughs> I'm not sure when, but at some point I decided that this channel was only for editing and photography stuff. Like, I don't know when that happened, but that's not how I intended it when I started it. I started this channel with the intention of just like putting up videos. And if you actually go back and look, some of my first videos have nothing to do with photography. I had like a, a video about how to fix your laptop, like a MacBook Air video, video how to fix uh, MSI webcam. I still have that laptop <laughs> from two or three years ago. I need to buy a new computer. But that's why I named the channel Kenneth Wayne. I didn't name it Kenneth Wayne Edits or Kenneth Wayne's Mobile Photography. I named it Kenneth Wayne because I wanted this to just be me doing whatever I wanted to do. It just so happens that at the time, one of the first things I was interested in was mobile photography. And then the unthinkable happens randomly. And even though it's only like my third video or something like that, the YouTube algorithm finds that video and is like, this is gold and just shoves it in everyone's face. Um, I had friends hitting me up being like, Kenneth, look, I see your video on my feed. And I was just floored. And then at that point, my brain was just like, well, I guess we're the mobile photography guy now. And I mean, of course it goes like that, right? Like you want to be successful on YouTube and to feed that monster, like the algorithm, the algorithm. I hate when people talk about it like that, but I just kept doing what I thought made it pop in the first place. That's what made me stop uploading altogether. I can't say this for every video, like the mobile, the eight tips to start killing in mobile photography, truly me, that was truly something I wanted to do. The how to clone yourself video, again, that was just something that popped into my head. I wanted to do it. Levitation, the same deal. You can tell even like in the editing, I had a lot of vigor and I spent a lot of time on those edits. Um, but then for like some of the other ones, like the transparent Superman and other videos that I've done, um, I started just trying to make videos that I thought would do well. And you should never do that on YouTube. If you're a creator, you're thinking about being a creator, a creator is somebody who like finds stuff inside of themselves and they want to share that with the world. Instead of being like a reactionist, which is like, you just see something that happened and you're like, I'm gonna do that too, so I can get a similar result, if that makes sense. Cause you're not going with what's true to you. And even if you get success, 
it doesn't feel good because it's not you that was successful. It was what you were trying to be. But that's why I stop uploading so often because my interests change so much. Me as a person specifically, my interests change. I know everyone kind of has that, but for me, I like hyper-focus randomly on different things. Like for instance, just recently, well, it's not really recently, like maybe a year ago, I don't even know how long ago it was, um, but my car broke down. I have a 2002 Chrysler Concorde, ugly little thing, but I love it. It started overheating really bad. And I had no idea why. I'm, I was not a car guy at the time. I had no idea um, what would cause that. So I took it to a shop and the shop told me, they were like, hey, um, so your head gaskets are blown. And that's pretty much a death sentence for this car because it's got decent mileage on it and it's old. And I was like, oh, okay, well, how much would it be to fix it? And they're like, we don't even want to quote you a price because it's not worth fixing. And then they were just like, so you can either take it home or we're going to have it towed somewhere. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'll take it home. The thing still drove. It's just that it would overheat if I didn't keep an eye on the coolant level. It would burn up the coolant. And so I took the thing home and it sat there for a while. And then this is where the interest part comes in that I was talking about earlier. I just started asking myself questions because I live in the country. So if you want to go to the supermarket, that's a 10 minute drive at least. <laughs> Do you want to go anywhere fun? That's 30 minutes at least. So naturally, I started asking myself, what is a head gasket? And what does it take to fix one? And why is it a death sentence for so many cars? And that is where I hyper-focused. I got online YouTube and I, I looked up what a head gasket was, how often um, they fail and what it takes to replace one. And I found out for my specific car, the head gaskets were only like $50, something stupid like that. And the part that was expensive is the labor of getting to them. Cause you have to pretty much take off the whole top of the engine to get to the gasket. That's why it's called a head because it sits on top of the engine. So like a head, and then you get down from the cylinder head to the gasket, which sits between the head and the engine. And because my car is a V6, the car is set with the pistons going in a V configuration. And so the heads are like that. And there are two heads on mine. So they'd have to tear down both sides of the engine. So the shop was completely right. It's way too expensive of a job for a high mileage old clunker. If you get it done at a shop. But after some research, I found out if I do it myself, I can buy the gaskets, which aren't that expensive. I bought a whole kit that included like belts and other things you can replace while you're in there. And I only paid like maybe $200 for everything. Hopefully y'all didn't hear me clicking my hands. Can y'all hear that? <laughs> People hate that, I'm sorry. So then I had that knowledge and I had a bunch of time. And then the catalyst that set everything in motion was I was watching this anime called Initial D. Top tier anime if you're into that, you should go watch it if you haven't. But I bought a good manual and I got to work and I tore that thing down. I mean, I was looking at the pistons, which is pretty scary, <laughs> but I kept chugging along anyway, because you know, what else are you gonna do? And I mean, I did everything to that car. I lapped the valves. I looked up a YouTube tutorial how to do that. I looked up what the valve stem seals were. I replaced those since they came in my head gasket kit. I did the water pump, the timing belt, wheel bearings, even though I didn't even need to do those at the time, it was just making a noise, so I was like, why not? I flushed out the, the coolant, I changed the coolant reservoir, everything. And then I threw the whole car back together and it did take me like a few tries after I got like everything back together. But then I threw the car back together and it freaking ran. And now I have a car again. I still, I drive that car to this day. And that was over a year ago almost. And to this day, I mean, I'm sure my friends are exceedingly tired of hearing about this car. I talk about it more than my freaking YouTube channel. It's one of the things I am most proud of in this world that I've done. Because I used to think it was like magic how cars worked. And now I understand a little bit more about them. I still have a lot to learn, but I got super interested just like I did in mobile photography. That's where all this ties back in. And I really wanted to film the whole process and show people, but I felt like the platform I'd built was not suitable for that type of content. Like you guys didn't sign up for that. <laughs> and I understand that. I, I'm not gonna try to force things in your face. So I say all that to get here. I'm making a new channel and that one's just called Kenneth. I'm not sure if I have it on the screen behind me, I do. Um, I am going to go ahead and post pretty much anything I want over there. That's gonna be for my like goldfish brain that likes to jump from different topics. So I work on my car all the time and I've got a bunch of other things like that I just get randomly interested in. So for my other things that are not tech, photography and editing related, they're gonna go over there. So if that's something you're interested in, I have it linked right there in the description, my new channel, and I'll probably pin a comment that has it. And that one's just called Kenneth, 
So it's not even as specific as having my middle name, Kenneth Wayne. It is just Kenneth. So this is just whatever I want. But if you don't like cars, if you don't like um, anime or games, then don't follow it because that's pretty much all it's probably going to be. Um, but if you like me as a person, then I ask that you do follow it because I'm going to go over there and have a lot of fun. But over here, I'm still going to have fun too. We're going to expand what this um, channel is about. I have a book. I don't know if you guys schedule right now, but you should use a calendar because it's gotten me so much more consistent with things. I've been able to start going to the gym and doing a bunch of stuff um, because I made a calendar. But you should do the same thing. Uh, here, I have a little, I have tabs. Let me see if I can adjust the focus here. I have tabs um, that I've made with sticky notes and I can go to different parts in here. And here, I've got my Kenneth Wayne channel outlined and I just put on here like the things I wanted to be potential videos I could make and like I made a little web and this is like months of planning I'm not sure if you notice that's upside down it's because I'm left-handed and when I write if I'm trying to write it the normal way my hand runs into this so I have to flip everything around so if anyone ever finds this notebook they're gonna be like what is wrong with this guy but let me get this back Ugh. that's it that's what I wanted to tell you guys. I'm making a new channel. So if you're interested in me and the type of person I am, I ask that you follow that channel that I'll have linked in the description. It's just Kenneth and it's just me. I don't have anything uploaded there yet, but I have a lot planned in my calendar coming very soon. So please follow that. I'm gonna be posting more stuff here too, drone related, photo related. And if there's anything you've been burning to see and you want to ask me to make it, put it in the comments below and I will strongly consider it. I'm gonna go through them um, for the people who are still here again. Thank you so much. I'm talking so fast because I'm running out of time. You can't see it, but 100K is a crazy dream that I am so happy that I got to achieve. Um, 100K is a crazy dream that I'm so happy. Oh my God, my light's reflecting everywhere that you guys let me achieve. Thank you so much. And I've got more coming. So please, please subscribe to the new channel and stay here because we got more to go. All right. Talk to you later. Peace. All 12 of you still here are going to see this and be like, oh my God, he's not coming back.